Welcome to an introduction of Thomson Reuters Westlaw. My name is Dave Corbett and I'm a Westlaw trainer. My job is to educate legal researchers on all the incredible and exclusive features of Westlaw so that they can become more efficient and confident researchers. I think you'll find Westlaw intuitive and easy to use. Plus, as a Westlaw customer, you have access to free research assistance from bar admitted expert attorneys and customer support available 24 seven. We're passionate about the practice of law and are excited for you to experience all Westlaw has to offer. So let's jump in and get started. I'm gonna share my screen with you. This is the Westlaw homepage. You'll notice at the top left-hand corner of the page is a Thomson Reuters Westlaw logo. This logo is featured on every page within Westlaw, and it's a live logo, which means that when you click on it from anywhere within Westlaw, it will bring you back to this homepage. To the right of that, we've got our global search box. Global search on Westlaw is powered by a sophisticated search algorithm, West Search. West Search is the only search engine designed specifically for the law, allowing legal researchers to deliver better results with more confidence. Within West Search, you can enter citations for documents, search terms, or you can start to type the case names or the names of publications that you're looking for, and it will make suggestions before you search. The global search box is optimized for plain language searching as well as Boolean searching, if you prefer more complex terms and connectors searches. The beauty of global search on Westlaw is that you can search the way that works best for you. To the right of the global search box, you'll see our jurisdiction selector. Currently, mine is set for all state and federal, but if I click on it, it allows you to choose from the state and territorial materials here in the center of the screen, and on the right are all the federal jurisdictions. If you want to choose a state jurisdiction, and then you only want to see the federal materials that correspond with that state. So using New York as an example, I click Include Related Federal underneath. You'll note that the All Federal box became unchecked automatically, so now you're not only searching New York state materials, but also the federal materials related to New York. If you're talking about cases, this will include U.S. District Court cases in New York, Second Circuit decisions, and decisions from the U.S. Supreme Court. So basically, it will include any federal court that will be precedential in New York. Hitting Save, you'll see that it now says New York State and Federal under the Jurisdiction Selector. To the right of that is an orange search button. In the center of the page, you see the Browse box containing five separate tabs. The first tab is the All Content tab. From this tab, you can navigate to any content or material type available on Westlaw. Everything in the first two columns is part of our core content. These materials are automatically searched when you run a search in the global search box. Everything in the far right column, from dockets down to directories, is housed separately. So if you want to do a docket search, you can simply click into dockets here and then run the search. When you click into a type of content, let's choose cases as an example, it gives you the opportunity to drill down further into federal cases by court or circuit, or cases by state, other jurisdictions, or topic. You can follow that all the way to its logical conclusion at a particular court, or you can search across all cases at the top of the screen, and notice that the search bar now says Search Cases. Let's jump back to the homepage by clicking on the Westlaw logo. The next two tabs are Federal Materials and State Materials. Each of these leads you to the materials that are specific to those states or federal jurisdictions. The Practice Areas tab divides information by practice area. If you select Employment as an example, you'll see you're taken to the Practitioner Insights page. Employment-related news displays at the top, with industry-specific analysis articles below. On the right, under Resources, you'll find the standard content sets that are specific to labor and employment. For example, if you choose Statutes and Court Rules, you'll get the Federal Labor and Employment content at the top, then state-by-state -state titles, chapters, and sections that are important to labor and employment practitioners underneath. Going back to the Westlaw homepage, let's select the fifth tab under the Browse box, the Tools tab. Under the Tools tab, you can access the Key Number System, the Subscriber Pricing Guide, and a comprehensive list of the content included in your Westlaw subscription. If you scroll about halfway down the list, there's also the link for Find and Print. From here, you can enter up to 100 citations, separating them with semicolons or separate lines, and Westlaw will deliver either the full text of the document, key cite them, or both. After you've chosen the delivery technique and format, simply click Submit 
and Find and Print will do the rest. Jumping back to the home screen, let's look at how to search by citation. For this example, let's enter 100 Supreme Court 1 in the global search bar. Even before hitting enter or search, notice that West Search is making suggestions for you, including the Pacific Telephone case, which has that citation. If you click on that case, hit enter on your keyboard, or hit search, you are brought directly into that case. To ensure you receive the correct document when pulling up a citation, you can precede the citation with the letters FI colon, or if it's easier to remember, you can use the whole word find followed by a colon, and then enter the citation. If you precede the citation with the letters FI or the word find, you will be notified if your citation is incorrect. If you put an incorrect citation in now and hit enter, instead of running an automatic search, it stops you, tells you the citation is incorrect, and asks you to check it and try it again. You then have the opportunity to fix your citation, hit enter again, and it will send you straight into the correct document. In terms of document delivery, you have a few options. This is the delivery button. Click on the little blue triangle next to it, and you will see that the same button controls emailing, printing, downloading, sending to Dropbox or Kindle, or exporting to Case Notebook, which is our litigation management software. If your firm or organization does not subscribe to Case Notebook, you won't see this option. You can also save this document to a folder. Just click on the icon that looks like a manila folder with a green up arrow on it. You will be asked where you want to save the document. You can create a new folder or subfolders, hit save, and your document will be saved to the folder you selected. Folders are incredibly useful from an organizational perspective, and there's no limit to how many folders or subfolders you can create or how many documents you can place into each folder. All documents you place in folders continue to be live and updated automatically. Unlike delivering them offline by emailing, printing, or downloading, where you're delivering a static snapshot of how the document existed at the moment you delivered it. If you search a document outside your firm's subscription, view it, and save it to a folder, you will only pay to view that document the first time you looked at it, and you have 365 days from the first time you viewed it until you would be charged to view that document again. This is a real cost benefit to using folders. Within Westlaw, you can also easily share your folders. Access folders at the top here and choose a folder like David's Research, which is the top level folder. If you want to share this folder, go up to Options, choose Share, and it walks you through a couple of steps where you can choose whom to share it with and whether you want them to just be able to review within the folder or actually contribute themselves. History is available at the top, just next to Folders. Putting your cursor over it gives you the most recent documents and searches. If you want to view your entire history, click on the word History itself, or click the View All links and you will see everything you've done for the last 365 days. You can use filters, including a client ID filter, to narrow your results. If you're in need of research assistance at any time during your Westlaw session, we're pleased to offer 24-7 research support from bar-admitted legal research experts included in your subscription. Westlaw reference attorneys are all licensed attorneys located right here in the U.S. Because they use Westlaw professionally, 40 plus hours a week, they are incredibly skilled researchers and can help you at any stage in your research. The phone number to contact the reference attorneys can be found at the bottom of every page on Westlaw. Above the reference attorney phone number, we also offer the convenient option to live chat with a reference attorney right within Westlaw. Whether you're just wondering where something is located, or if you have substantive research questions, 10 or 15 minutes on the phone with a reference attorney will save you a lot of time. When it's time to sign off, your sign off is over in the top right hand corner. Putting your cursor over this profile settings icon gives you the sign off button. Sign off and you're out. Please don't hesitate to contact us at any time for further guidance on using Westlaw, in-depth sessions on particular practice areas or functionality, or substantive research assistance. Thank you for your attention.